Okay, Addis Maximus here, kind of a public service video just because of the title. This disc format is not supported. Whenever I get one of these used uh, Blu-ray players, I run into tons of posts with that error message. So it's kind of a PSA that really, it's your TV. And these are certainly cheapo uh, Blu-ray players. I actually have two of the models. One is the ubd dash KM 85C, and this is the UBD M 7500. This was made in December 2016. This was made in December or in uh, November of 2017. And Samsung really cheapified. <laughs> this one was more expensive than this one, and the build quality like went way down. The quality of the remotes, although I don't know if these are factory remotes, but there's a vast difference. They have the same part number, but vast difference in the quality of which should be the same remote with the same part number. Wow. Even the older one's heavier, totally different menu system. Anyway, there's two different levels of encryption when it comes to uh, Blu-ray discs and 4K Ultra HD. There's the encryption on the disc itself, and then there's actually a secondary encryption called HDCP. Blu-rays are encrypted with something called AACS. And then there's a secondary one called HDCP, the High Definition Content Protection Protocol. And that's what prevents people from getting devices. Um, I think kind of like capture cards, that type of stuff, where you can put it in the link between the player and the TV and offshoot it off to a computer. So there's a separate uh, level of encryption there. And a lot of that, that can um, tell the Blu-ray player that I can't play this, and then it will eject with that same erroneous error message when it should actually be saying enabling uh, enable encryption stream and the reason I'm saying this is there was a lot of complaints about this blu-ray player I actually got this at an Elk Lodge sale uh, no power cord just but it was 12 bucks I only paid 25 for the lower one I like watching movies but electronics like this fail so I've always had my really old school from 2009 Samsung Blu-ray player which has actually been a workhorse but man if you still watch discs even if you don't do 4k a 4k player is so much faster at loading discs part of the 4k format is um, not just larger data capacity discs but they also spin faster so they can deliver that all that extra data to give you the high quality image and that translates into standard Blu-rays, menus load fast. And people have complained about, not spill these, this error. And I've, uh, part of it is a connection. If you have it connected to the receiver, try connecting it right to the TV. It depends on how old your TV is. Some things I was reading on some forums, uh, if you have one of these connected to, a, you know, just an older, just, you know, 2015 TV or 2010 just a 1080p high definition non 4k tv people have more errors but i've tried all these modern movies don't give me crud because i only paid six bucks for that 4k copy of rv um but all these up here you know these are all the newest movies transformers rise of the bees mission possible dead reckoning the stand by me is known to have aacs 2.1 encryption wonder woman spider-man all this stuff Fox titles like Alita. Actually, every one of these discs played just fine. And what I mean by it, it's easy to see if they're AAA or you can just see the three bands. By the way, those bands on the inner of the discs are known as the volume ID and they're part of the encryption system because burn discs, and these aren't, they're not necessarily bootleg when you get them. There's video on demand services where there's just not enough copies for them to make a commercial print, so they actually just print, burn them, and do a silk screen. Uh, in real time as they're ordered but burn discs as you can see don't have those volume ID rings and that's part of the uh, protection system on these retail discs and believe me I've tried it all including DivX disc this was a nightmare format this was a format where the disc includes one limited viewing period somehow on the disc man those are terrible but this loads as a DVD and they, the non DivX compatibility of the players is actually an error, software error message that comes off the disc that worked properly. Notorious discs like the international version. This is actually a region B, even though these are region one players or region A players. 
By the way, 4K discs don't have region coding because they just don't sell enough of them. But played just fine. Fantasia is a notorious because it has a very intensive menu system. No problem. As a matter of fact, to get that error message, I had to use one of these, which surprisingly enough play in my computer through Windows Media Player. And yet, an Ultra HD Blu-ray player with its big processor and everything can't play a regular old uh, video CD. And those are classic, but they play in the computer just fine. And I will mention them with the BBC on these video CDs. Look at that. It's, it's a gold leaf disc. It's like archi Century Plus archival grade discs uh, on video CD. Like, wow. So this is the... And video CDs are separate format from audio CDs. It's not like just different files. It's a separate format. And so that's the only way I could get that error message was by putting in video CDs that once again will play on my computer. But nonetheless, every other disc that I've tried works just fine. And really, as far as normal discs, it was that old Blu-ray player when I occasionally read it. Blu-rays used to come with little inserts like this where you need uh, you know, a firmware update because of kind of teething issues with the uh, encryption system on Blu-rays and 4K discs. Well, that's the best thing I can tell you is at least this unit here, all beat up, ended up at a junk sale, uh, has worked fine, and surprisingly enough has not as good an info menu telling you the data or the information about the codex, but otherwise, I mean, surprisingly enough, this 2016 unit is a little bit heavier than the 2017 one. Even to deal with some of those issues, it has two HDMIs, one that can do the audio only direct to the receiver. That way it can be plugged directly into the TV. But as far as me plugging these in directly into the TV, I've only ever, is, these things have actually always worked great besides being noisy and vibrating because the disc spins so fast and they don't. And these aren't high-end players. I mean, you can spend a lot of money. You can spend a thousand or twelve hundred dollars on 4K players that have hip, you know, good audiophile equipment. But some discs are really bad. This has like a real light printing here, and then a whole extra layer. And this disc just vibrates and vibrates until the movie gets going and it's red right ahead enough, and then it can slow down. Anyway, sorry for the long video, but that's kind of the explanation behind those error messages is some of them are you can't read that serial number on the inner rim of the disk some are just bad units I mean this player hasn't had a firmware update since 2018 and it loaded up all those new disks just fine loaded up all old disks I mean just whatever I put into it and the difference here is being directly plugged into a TV I did get a, uh, a cheapo Philips quantum dot TV. It was made in the second half of 2023, so the TV is, you know, seven years newer than the player. So the TV, and it's a Roku TV, so it can deal with whatever the player is trying to send to it to run that HDCP, that secondary content protection protocol, which I think is part of the root of the issue. And hopefully this video helps some of those people out. It means try to take it to a, if you're getting those error messages on discs that would read in other players, try taking the player to a different TV and see if you have the same issue or a newer TV. Anyway, thanks for watching.